Hey, good morning, it's Owen Bigland. This is the Inside Edge video blog. Just got back from a week in Scottsdale, Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, little vacation, working on my tan a little bit, uh, doing a little working out, um, uh, looking at a little real estate. I never go anywhere without looking at a little bit of real estate. Um, but uh, the other main reason I was down there, I was fortunate enough to get uh, an invitation from a friend uh, to a investment seminar or summit. Um, now, this wasn't a trading seminar, it wasn't one of those two-day weekend things where they teach you how to buy and sell stock and you're going to outsmart the market and, uh, and uh, we're going to teach you uh, all the fundamentals of stock trading and day trading. That stuff is for, for riverboat gamblers. Um, this seminar was a value investment seminar. Uh, this was a dividend growth strategy, uh, long-term investing. Boring stuff, but stuff that works. So um, there were some really good speakers, some really high-powered people at this summit. Um, a lot of them were the, uh, the uh, managers of a lot of uh, private equity uh, and hedge funds from back east, Toronto, New York, uh, Connecticut. Um, a lot of them were the head uh, managers at uh, a lot of the big ETFs from iShares, Vanguard. So uh, it was a value investment summit. Now, one of the highlights for me was an afternoon session that I attended, and there were some sessions too on real estate, which were interesting. But uh, the favorite for me was a session on, uh, on, uh, from Vanguard on the teachings of their founder, a guy by the name of John, or Jack as they call him, Bogle. Now, John Bogle, or Jack, is, has been one of my mentors and one of my heroes for about 15 years now. Um, back in 1975, he formed a little company called Vanguard, um, which was, uh, rather than uh, uh, buying or investing in individual stocks and actively managing uh, a mutual fund, he decided that uh, it's a lot better off to do what's called index investing, just buy the broad market, the S&P 500, the Dow 30, the TSX 60. Um, his philosophy is, and it's turned out to be absolutely 100% right, was that over the long term, uh, it's going to blow away an actively managed fund or getting in and out or timing markets. Uh, the other thing is, is that unlike these actively managed funds, which have these high MERs, or what, what are known as management expense ratios, some of these mutual funds and, and actively managed uh, brokers are charging 3, 4, 5% right off the top. An index investing strategy charges you almost nothing. We're talking uh, one-tenth of 1% one to buy the broad index. So it's absolutely the way to go. Um, but some of his, they, they spent about a half an hour on some of the key things to focus in on to become a successful investor. Uh, and investing is the key point there, not a speculator or a trader. And everything that they talk about here is, you can relate it to whether you're buying a stock or you're buying real estate. It's all the same thing. It's all about buying, holding, not listening to the speculation out there or the short-term doom and gloom that markets are going to crash or correct. None of that matters. Keep your blinders on. If you buy it, hang on to it for the long term, you're going to become very, very wealthy. <laughs> Talking about wealthy, actually, when I was at the pool, tan working on my tan, um, I was reading the latest issue of Men's Health magazine. And if you've got the new issue of Men's Health magazine in there, surprisingly enough, there's a little two-page story on Jack Bogle in there. So he's starting to go mainstream, I guess. But the title of, the, of the, this little article was, This Man Will Make You Very Rich. And it's true. So here's the thing, here's some of the key things that Jack has always, uh, um, you know, uh, been a big advocate on. And they're very simple. The first thing is, uh, is don't kid yourself. Don't kid yourself, you're not smarter than the market. And you don't kid yourself with real estate either. Uh, don't be trying to time markets or get in, in and out of positions. You might get lucky one year or two years, but over 10, 15, 20 years, you're gonna get killed. So anyone, I'm gonna go on a little tangent here. Um, there's, in Vancouver here, I listen to CKNW, there, and how they get away with this, I don't know. I'm going off on a tangent here. But uh, there's an investment advisor, I'll use that term loosely, uh, who goes on and says that uh, buying an actively managed portfolio, or a, I'm a strong believer in an actively managed portfolio, uh, in these tough or turbulent economic times. And anyone that tells you that an actively managed portfolio will beat an index portfolio just is not telling you the truth. Again, you might beat it for a year or two, but over the length of 10 or 15 or 20 years, uh, you will absolutely not beat it. 
Uh, eight out of every 10 managed funds right now, whether it's mutual funds or actively managed traders, eight out of 10 can't beat the S&P 500. The 20% that get lucky every year, they can't do it. Maybe one year, maybe two, over 10 or 15 years, forget it. So why would you pay three or 4% to actively manage it? But some of the key things, so one is you're not smarter than the market, don't kid yourself. The other thing is seek boredom. Uh, if investing gets you excited, then you're not an investor, you're a speculator. And you may as well just go to Las Vegas and put $1,000 on black with the roulette wheel, if that's what gets you going. Investors, true investors, seek boredom. It's a long, slow uh, process, a methodical process. Um, the other thing is, don't peek at your statements. Um, this one is so true. Whether you're buying a stock or you're buying a house, if you were to buy a detached home, let's say at age 25, or buy a stock at age 25, a uh, blue chip stock, let's say McDonald's, buy it, hang on to it until you're age 70. What Jack says is put that statement uh, into an envelope and then uh, open it up uh, 50 years later. Now, if you did that, he recommends strongly that you have a doctor with a respirator on hand because when you open that envelope to see what the value of that home or the value of that stock is 50 years later, you're probably going to faint. <laughs> it's absolutely true. There's no denying it. Buy a house, buy a, a stock, a good stock, a dividend paying stock, blue chip, McDonald's, uh, Apple would be a good one uh, that I like. Uh, 50 years from now, when you open that statement, uh, that number that you're going to see there is going to blow you away. There's no doubt about it. And the other thing with real estate, of course, is, is that all the capital gains that have accumulated over the last 50 years are, are completely tax-free. It's the only tax shelter we've got left. The final thing is, and this one's key, and I blogged about this one in the past, is don't panic. Jack went on to say that uh, over the last uh, 25 or 30 years, the S&P 500 has returned an annualized rate of return of about 7 or 8%. Now, there's been years there over the last 25 years where it's gone up 30%. There's also been years in there where it's gone down 30%. Same thing with, with Vancouver real estate. Over the last 25 years, Vancouver and Richmond real estate has averaged about a 7 or 8% return, tax-free. Now, there's also years where it's gone up much higher than that, 20, 30% gains year over year, and we've also had several crashes. But what Jack went on to say is, I can he can guarantee over the next 25 years going forward that there will be at least two or three market corrections of 20 to 30%. Guaranteed, just as she sure as the sun will rise tomorrow. And it's the exact same thing with Vancouver real estate. Um, 10 years from now, we could get a 15 or 20% correction, but it doesn't matter. You're living in the home, it's your principal residence, or it's an, a long-term investment property. What it does short-term doesn't make any difference. It's just, as Warren Buffett calls it, static. So, hopefully, you've, you're, you're connecting with some of the advice I'm saying. You know, financial security is very simple. Uh, anyone that tries to make it complicated, I would turn and, uh, and run don't walk away. Uh, it's quite simple. Whether it's real estate or stock, you buy it, hold on to it, tune out all the negativity. And in this internet age, there's a lot of that. Uh, a lot of guys sitting in their parents' basement uh, on their computer, they're bitter, they're mad at the world. Tune them out. Uh, get away from those type of people as soon as you can. Uh, look up the philosophies of Jack Bogle and he'll set you right. And as the uh, Men's Health Magazine this month says, this man will make you very rich. All his philosophies, whether it's buying stock or index investing, can all be uh, uh, connected with real estate as well. All the philosophies are the same. I'm Owen Bigland. As always, thanks for watching. I'm out of time. See you next week.